First of all, you look amazing. Who dressed you? I was dressed by my stylist, Winnie Odande, and this gorgeous gown is from Malaika Bridals. Kenyan brand? Yes, absolutely. Ah, amazing. So we are here because of Igiza, the latest, you know, series by Showmax. <laughs> yeah, and you get to play a double role, like twin, two in one, something of the sort. When you are auditioning for the role, did you audition for the two roles or it was one? You know, at first when we went for the auditions, um, I, th I thought it was for one character. And then actually the auditions lasted three weeks, yeah. So you can imagine the, uh, the, the number of people who came just for this one role, three good weeks. Um, when I was auditioning, I thought it was one person. And then the next time when they called me, they called me for a Nicole. And I thought, oh, maybe they didn't see me fit for Linda. So that's why they're trying to audition me for Nicole. So in my head, I thought I was auditioning for one person. And I thought the casting agent and the directors were trying to see where I best suit. Until now when I got the role and they told me, actually, you're going to be playing twins. So you did know? Mm, not really, no. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really know. They don't really reveal what the project is all about until you sign the contract. Then they can let you in on what exactly is going to happen. So, first of all, when, how did you feel when you knew? Now, this is two roles, meaning two efforts, two jobs. You know, you have to cram lines for both Linda and Nicole. Like it's double the work, that's what I'm saying. How did you feel? Because this was a new challenge for you as an actor. Mm. You know, this was also my comeback project, you know, after having a baby. So um, um, to me, there was that excitement after you call back and you're told, oh, so you got the role. And I was like, yeah, I was screaming the entire time. But, you know, once you now go and have a sit down with the entire production team and they tell you the amount of work that is involved, you actually get to see that you're going to be really busy and you're going to have to put in a lot of work also because you're the lead character so you're carrying the entire story on your shoulders and you cannot afford to you know let the people who trusted you so much with these two uh, with these two roles um so it was very intense for me i've i've had moments where you know like i've pushed myself so much at some point i'm like okay i'm not really sure that i'm doing the right thing am i really bringing out uh, nicole am i bringing linda out uh, just hoping that I'm getting to do the right thing but I'm so happy that at the end of the day it all worked out we have amazing directors and um, and uh, they have they've really worked so hard to make sure that we are able to differentiate between Linda and Nicole when you were a young girl what did you want to pursue did you want to be an actor hmm. I think when you when I was younger I was just uh, going for oh I want to be a pilot I want to be this I want to be this. but I remember very well um, I wanted to be an astronaut and my room was full of books with astronomy and I was really deep into that. I think it's still something that I'm very much interested in because uh, I always find myself studying about you know the galaxies and whatnot and aliens and I will you know try to figure out okay so where did these aliens come do, do they really exist I love those kind of conversations yeah so I, I wanted to do I, I've always had an interest in doing something that is out of space and just exploring the space um, you know just discovering how earth was formed what else exists is there life after you know those kind of things so as an actor do you feel you're receiving enough support from the team behind that is the government the media the writers um first of all i must say that we've really come a long way when it comes to you know the film industry and and you know where we are from and where we are right now it's definitely we've made such huge strides um i uh, it's it's an amazing an, 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 an amazing time for women actually in the film industry i remember i was telling one of the actors that um i'm so happy that some of the like the leading shows in kenya have women as their you know lead cast so that's really a very huge step but are we really where we are supposed to be no there's so much that we need to do if you're going to be compete if you're still competing with south africa if you're still competing with nigeria there's so much that we need support from um kenyans uh kenyans not really being very harsh on the industry and also being given that opportunity to express ourselves and and you know not being restricted the people that we are putting 
uh, on those boards that govern film in this country? Are they people who understand the film industry? Are they people who have been part of the film industry? Do they understand some of the things that we actors go through? Do they understand some of the struggles that actors go through? Those are, you know, those are the key things that we need to look at. The, you know, the the key decision makers have to be people who are very, very relatable to the film industry. Um, when we talk about the government, I, I mean, yes, they have tried to show us some kind of support, but at the same time, look at uh, the ministry that the you know sports and uh, you know arts is under. We are being put in the in the same category with sports. So what does that mean? Like the sport personalities will shine more than 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 artists, you know. Um, I also feel like when it comes to the distribution of funds, I don't think I've seen much from the government. So yeah, there's a lot that has been done, but I also feel like there's a lot that needs to be done. And uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, a few a few years ago, Nigeria used to come to Kenya to benchmark. You know, we used to have like, patients come and they benchmark over here. And now it is us looking at them and saying, oh, Nigeria is doing this, so can we try and do the same? Earlier this month, <laughs> It was Mother's Day. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> Welcome. How has the experience been for you? It was amazing. You know, before my man used to spoil me for my birthdays and Valentine's. But now, oh my goodness, now we're having all those Mother's Days and special days for moms and it feels really good. But, um, well, apart from that, it's just the realization that now you're in a, in a whole different phase in life and, uh, you know, there's this person who's dependent on you and you have a huge responsibility to mold them into responsible human being. Me, having been in this world for a couple of years now, I know what's good, I know what's wrong, and, and I know, you know what I want to instill in my child. So um, motherhood has come with so much um, realization that there's so much more to life than just, uh, you know, just existing. Knowing that uh, you have a little one that you need to mold and you need to bring up and they have to have good manners and it all starts from when they are toddlers. So it's been quite an amazing journey. Like I was, I was telling someone else that my life... I thought my life had purpose, but once I had a baby, I now know that my life has a purpose. Yeah, so it feels really good and I, I, I feel so blessed to, to have a little boy, you know, just to go home to, and to cuddle with every single night and, you know, just those little hands touching me and, you know, just seeing life grow, you know, just from a little person who could not fit in my hands and now we are crawling and trying to, to talk and say hi and everything, it's just amazing. You know your hubby, your boo. <laughs> when you guys have like a geographical distance and boundary, despite the distance and having a young baby, how do you manage to, you know, keep the vibe going and the love? Yeah. I'm actually surprised that people People don't know that we actually like we actually live together. It's just that this this particular moment when I got this project, uh, me and the baby have been forced to be here, but we are we are always together. Um, this is actually the first time that we've been away and apart um, apart for quite a long time. Um, but it's been very tough. It's been very tough, you know, for me, for him as well. Like I can see sometimes he's really struggling because he really wants to have the baby with him. And here I am, you know, he can't stay with the baby. I have to stay with the baby. Um, um, but at the end of the day, you know, we speak about our goals, our, you know, in as, in as much as we are together, we have individual brands that we need to build and sometimes building those brands will need sacrifices and this is one of them but we cannot i cannot wait to finish this and we can reunite as a family and just spend so much time together and have noise you know when the two of them lock themselves up and they're watching football and i'm just there trying to talk to no one listening to me i miss those moments in as much as i yell all the time yeah yeah but um we just hope that uh, this will end soon and we will be together what is the one thing that he's taught you for the time that you guys have been together? One thing about Victor um, is his patience and discipline when it comes to work. Um, I, I, I have, if you've known me, I've always been a very impatient person. Like, I'm um, a person who, if I get to do something and it, it doesn't work for the first time, move on to the next. You know, I have no time for that. But, you know, even just watching how he does the things, the professionalism in everything, the patience and the way he really trusts in the process, 
that changed my entire perspective of you know how life should be so that is the one thing that I give him props for and I keep on reminding him that you know like I'm so patient right now because of you and and I think it's a good thing to emulate from your from someone that you call your partner you know just that patience and just being able to trust the process and being professional in everything that you do and especially at work knowing that you are assigned to do this you have to do it come rain or shine you know like for him even when we are on holiday Victor will wake up early he's He's gone to the gym, he finishes, he, he goes for training. I'm like, dude, we are supposed to be on holiday, relax, relax. But, you know, so you get to see that dedication and you know that's where he, he, he is, where he's at right now. So those are some of the things that I've actually gotten to, end, or to acquire from him and they have done me so good as an artist.